Hi friends, in this video we are solving a problem based on changing order of integration, changing the order of integration. This topic we are chosen from multiple integrals. Okay, the changing the order of integration is very very important uh, uh, in the multiple integrals because you observe general integration means double integral we will do. Of course, uh, with the variables also we can do. But this is a very very important. Why it is important means here generally if they are given a limit from zero to infinity and x is from x to infinity. Uh, but uh, here dependent variable is what we have means here dependent limits are here y is a dependent on x so in this case we have to integrate with respect to y only here if you want to integrate the integrand with respect to y variable you observe this is u by v rule u by v rule integration have you any formula of course f dash of x by f of x form if, if we have then you can do is denominator derivative in the numerator no so in this case u by v rule you cannot apply so integrand you cannot get the integration for the integrand so we cannot apply directly integration for that purpose only we are changing the order of integration of course sometimes may they will mention changing the, uh, change the variables also but in this case just we are changing the order of integration this is very very important problem of course the two more problems also there we will discuss those problems in the next videos right now we are solving this problem that is integral 0 to infinite uh, x to infinite e power minus y by y into dy dx observe friends first uh, while integrating double r triple integral first you observe all the limits are independent or not if it is independent then you can do irrespective of the variable integration you can do but whenever the dependent variable is involved first you have to differentiate with respect to the dependent variable only here you have a double integral double integral so it is a function of x so this is obviously limit for means limit of y only so first you have to integrate with respect to y generally but here we are doing change of order of integration so what you have to do means while solving this problem in the exam we need to write the step by step what steps we need to write means first of all you have to write the given limits after that to change the order of integration uh, this variable this y is uh, containing the variable uh, this variable we are changing into constant limits this constant limit is changing into variable limits then only uh, we have to draw the graph from that we have to get the region and then we have to uh, simplify the integration okay uh, we have to simplify the given problem solution right anyway here the limits of y what we have x and y tends to infinite y is equal to x and y is equal to infinite observe these are variables later on we have to change of order of integration means these are becomes constants anyway next x limits are x is equal to 0 to infinite x is 0 to infinite so you observe step by step i have written uh, in this video to change the order of integration we require to find the limits as the variables and the limits of y are constant x limits previously you have constant so now what we are doing here variables and y limits are variables so y limits we have to change as a constant only for that how you can uh, change means we require the limits observe the limits you write down here they are given limits x is equal to y y x is equal to infinite y is equal to 0 y is equal to infinite now we have to find the intersecting point and we need to draw the region in this case so if you want to draw the region you see first of all i wrote here y is equal to x y is equal to infinite x is equal to 0 x is equal to infinite you observe intersecting points we need to find intersecting points means you have equation y is equal to x if y is infinite then obviously if y is infinite then x is equal to what infinite only of course they are given if they are not given also you will get this intersecting point infinite comma infinite point we have to draw next when x is 0 when x is 0 that implies y is equal to x means y is also 0 so what are the point another point you know y is equal to 0 here you see y is infinite x is infinite point this is one point y 0 x 0 so this is another point now we have to draw this point in on a x or x y quadrant here so here you observe this is x axis and this is y axis on this x and y axis first we need to write a point 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 means this is our uh, point next x tends to infinite x tends to infinite means on the uh, x is infinite means this side and uh, y is infinite means this side so infinite comma infinite and you have y is equal to x you see this is y is equal to x line y is equal to x line so infinite infinite means suppose if it is you see 0 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 infinite infinite means this side right uh, in the first order and only but we cannot see just you have to imagine that is in the first ordinate only because that is infinite comma infinite point uh, next what they gave here uh, x is equal to they gave here you see 
y is equal to x they give and uh, x is equal to uh, 0 also they give x is equal to 0 is nothing but which axis here y axis y axis means total downside and upwards so here you see this is x is equal to 0 but uh, started from 0 0 only na? so 0 0 means so we have to take only this region this region so this region you see i am drawing like this the shaded region is our region okay na? so this one you have to mention clearly the given region are shown in the shaded portion of the figure but you observe this region is containing a x axis that is nothing but y is equal to 0 is it containing no that is also you write in words note that y is equal to 0 is not included in the given region now horizontal uh, now what we have to do means we need to find the limits na? so if you want to find the limits first we want y limits as a constant only na? so y limits constant means you observe in this region y started from where origin end with do you know end here infinite only so y limits are constant y is from 0 to infinite next i want x limits if you want to find the x limit we have to draw one strip which is parallel to the x axis so this is the strip okay next not only one strip you can write you can uh, draw two more also okay here i am writing so here i am writing you observe these three these are three strips here these three are touching only y axis on this y axis whatever the x value zero so x one limit lower limit you got now why it is lower limit means left side of the vertical strip this is horizontal strip horizontal strip na? so left side of the horizontal strip is touching y axis on this y axis x value is zero left side na it is touching so this is lower limit right side if it touching uh, then you can say that is a uh, upper limit of the x so in this case you have a, this uh, these three are touching the straight line that is y is equal to x but you want a limit in uh, x or y x only so x is equal to y so that one i have mentioned clearly now the horizontal strip for the limit x is varies from x is equal to 0 uh, and uh, at the end x is equal to y also the vertical strip is x is equal to 0 to infinite so you need to write these all the strips after that simply you write down from this so 0 is less than x is less than y and uh, y 0 is less than y is less than infinite so this is our region now coming to the solution just do the integration now then you will get a full score okay now given region is given problem with 0 to infinite x to infinite e power minus y by y dy dx why we are changing is it clear friends why we are changing means we are not we are not getting the integration directly that is the reason only we are changing that is why this topic is very very important anyway now integration we have to do so integration with respect to first of all reason we have to change the limits of x are what 0 to infinite and limits of y are what 0 to sorry x limits are 0 to y and y limits are 0 to infinite so first i am writing that one only y limits are 0 to infinite and x limits are 0 to y remember if you want to do the multiple integral first we have to think about the limits if both the limits are constant that is nothing but independent of any other variables independent of variables then you can do the integration irrespective of the variable but in this case one is a uh, dependent another one is independent so if you want to do the integration first we have to do integration with respect to dependent variable what is the dependent variable here here y is a uh, limit is containing y so y is nothing but function of y function of y is nothing but x limit so we have to integrate with respect to x first now later on we have to integrate with respect to y are you understood here dependent variable only observe so if it is a dependent variable y sorry x is a dependent on y so we have to integrate with respect to x for uh, dependent variable y so it is a function of y so the uh, this is a limit for x so x is a function of y so we have to integrate with respect to x that that one only you have to understand friends if you are understood the variable which is dependent variable then you have to do differentiation with respect to that variable then you can understand multiple integral very easily anyway now so here y function only there functions of y is there is there any x here no no x is nothing but into 1 meaning is into 1 is there any change in the integrand if you multiply it with 1 no change so one integration with respect to x is x with respect to y is y but we are integrating with respect to x no? so x only now the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is y so upper limit minus lower limit f of b minus f of a case only ok na? now f of b minus f of a so y minus 0 right upper limit y minus lower limit is 0 y y cancel y y cancel means remaining e power minus y what is e power minus y integration e power minus y by minus 1 we are integrating with respect to what x over now y 
e power ax integration is e power ax by a ax derivative is a so e power minus y integration is e power minus y by minus 1 y minus 1 means differentiation of minus y with respect to y is minus 1 now minus 1 i written left side now e power minus upper limit means e power minus infinite minus lower limit means e power 0 e power minus infinite is 0 check it here e power infinite infinite na? so e power minus infinite you can write 1 by e power infinite e power infinite means 1 by infinite 1 by infinity is as, uh, equivalent to 0 only. Na? So this is 0 minus e power 0 is 1. So e power minus 0 is also 1. 1 by 1 means 1 only. Na? So 0 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is here 1. I think uh, you understood this problem very clearly. In the next video, we will solve, evaluate the double integral 0 to infinite x2 in pi. Sorry, 0 to pi x2 pi sin y by y dy dx. Here you observe the dependent variable is here it is a function of x so dependent variable is y so first we have to integrate with respect to y is it possible uh, integration with respect to y no so we have to go for change of order of integration so this solution we will discuss in the next video thank you for watching this video 